Hansi Italia ni to tamtik grinlin whitford ni tsigaso nech yosko mina apitawagusen. So what I just said in, in Cree, which is my traditional language, which I'm beginning to relearn, is hello everybody, my name's Raylene Whitford and I'm Cree Métis. I grew up in Amiskuchi, Wiskaiga, which is now known as Edmonton. I'm a proud member of the Métis Nation of Alberta and my family comes from the Laclobish McRae area in Northern Alberta. The Energy Futures Lab published a policy paper called Same Game, New Rules. Uh, exactly a year ago in, in May 2022. It was just an incredible collaboration on the kind of thought leadership industry side, but what the Energy Futures Lab did was made sure that Indigenous views were woven into the entirety of the paper, not just at the end of a chapter or at the end of the, the paper itself. So we work quite closely as a, as a council or as a committee to develop the, the thinking behind how Indigenous uh, peoples need to be involved, not just from a policy perspective, but also economically and as, as thought leaders in the transition. So the Energy Futures Lab brought together a massive group of thought leaders, industry experts, Indigenous people, you know, people with backgrounds in banking and engineering and industry. And I just think that this is a, an amazing pool of knowledge. And one of the outputs is the is the policy paper, but it's also the people behind the paper. I love the other individuals on on the committee. I think, you know, with some of them I'm working with today as a result of just our collaborations through the Energy Futures Lab. They're all hardworking, fully committed to community, culturally grounded individuals who see the opportunity and also the risk of an energy transition in Alberta with or without Indigenous peoples. So we're all aligned in the, in the point of view that, you know, Indigenous people should and have to be full participants um, in mapping the way forward for an energy or for a just transition. We need to come together to find the path forward uh, for the prosperity of the province, for the individuals, for the nations, um, First Nations, Métis people that are that are in Alberta. So imbued in the energy transition is an increasing uh, amount of technology, new businesses, new opportunities to do things differently. So I think that Indigenous peoples are natural partners uh, for these new businesses uh, because not only do they bring, you know, in some cases capital, but they also bring traditional knowledges, ways of being, ways of knowing. Uh, which will prove useful in an economy that is hopefully moving towards renewable energy. So we're now in a time uh, where Indigenous women are returning to our places of leadership, both within our communities, but also in the corporate world. I think it's really important that our voices are not just heard, um, but that we're sitting around the table and helping to steer the ship towards uh, a new energy landscape for all of us. I think what we're going to see in the coming years is just a wide sweep of incredible Indigenous women like the women who are sitting on the council um, begin to lead the way towards an equitable and inclusive transition.